Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL and uploaded this video for BS English students. Having more than 25 research papers, he also taught at many foreign universities. He was presently admitted to a postdoctoral study at a Canadian university. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at. What does historical linguistics study? Phonological, morphological, syntactic, and semantic changes. Historical linguistics, also called diachronic linguistics, is the study of language change. It has five main concerns. To describe and account for observed changes in particular languages. To reconstruct the prehistory of languages and determine their relatedness, grouping them into language families. Comparative linguistics. To develop general theories about how and why language changes. To describe the history of speech communities. To study the history of words, i.e. Etymology. History and development. Modern historical linguistics dates from the late 18th century and grew out of the earlier discipline of philology, the study of ancient texts and documents, which goes back to antiquity. At first historical linguistics was comparative linguistics and mainly concerned with establishing language families, and the reconstruction of prehistoric languages using the comparative method and internal. Reconstruction the focus was on the well-known Indo-European languages, many of which had long written histories. But since then, significant comparative linguistic work has been done on the Uralic languages, Austronesian languages and various families of Native American languages, among many others. Comparative linguistics is now, however, only a part of a more broadly conceived discipline of historical linguistics. For the Indo-European languages comparative study is now a highly specialized field, and most research is being carried out on the subsequent development of these languages, particularly the development of the modern standard varieties. Evolution into other fields Initially, all modern linguistics was historical in orientation, even the study of modern dialects involved looking at their origins. But Saussure drew a distinction between synchronic and diachronic linguistics, which is fundamental to the present-day organization of the discipline. Primacy is accorded to synchronic linguistics, and diachronic linguistics is defined as the study of successive synchronic stages. Saussure's clear demarcation, however, is now seen to be idealized. In practice, a purely synchronic linguistics is not possible for any period before the invention of the gramophone. Written records always lag behind speech in reflecting linguistic developments, and in any case are difficult to date accurately before the development of the modern title page. Also, the work of sociolinguists on linguistic variation has shown synchronic states are not uniform. The speech habits of older and younger speakers differ in ways which point to language change. Synchronic variation is linguistic change in progress. The biological origin of language is in principle a concern of historical linguistics, but most linguists regard it as too remote to be reliably established by standard techniques of historical linguistics, such as the comparative method. Less standard techniques, such as mass lexical comparison, are used by some linguists to overcome the limitations of the comparative method, but most linguists regard them as unreliable. The findings of historical linguistics are often used as a basis for hypotheses about the groupings and movements of peoples, particularly in the prehistoric period. In practice, however, it is often unclear how to integrate the linguistic evidence with the archaeological or genetic evidence. For example, there are a large number of theories concerning the homeland and early movements of the Proto-Indo-Europeans, each with their own interpretation of the archaeological record. Subfields of study. Comparative linguistics. Comparative linguistics, originally comparative philology, is a branch of historical linguistics that is concerned with comparing languages in order to establish their historical relatedness. Languages may be related by convergence through borrowing or by genetic descent. Genetic relatedness implies a common origin or proto-language, and comparative linguistics aims to construct language families 
to reconstruct proto-languages and specify the changes that have resulted in the documented languages. In order to maintain a clear distinction between attested and reconstructed forms, comparative linguists prefix an asterisk to any form that is not found in surviving texts. Etymology Etymology is the study of the history of words, when they entered a language, from what source, and how their form and meaning have changed over time. In languages with a long detailed history, etymology makes use of philology, the study of how words change from culture to culture over time. However, etymologists also apply the methods of comparative linguistics to reconstruct information about languages that are too old for any direct information, such as writing, to be known. By analyzing related languages with a technique known as the comparative method, linguists can make inferences about their shared parent language and its vocabulary. In this way, word roots have been found which can be traced all the way back to the origin of, for instance, the Indo-European language family. Even though etymological research originally grew from the philological tradition, nowadays much etymological research is done in language families where little or no early documentation is available, such as Uralic and Austronesian. Dialectology Dialectology is the scientific study of linguistic dialect, the varieties of a language that are characteristic of particular groups, based primarily on geographic distribution and their associated features, as opposed to variations based on social factors, which are studied in sociolinguistics, or variations based on time, which are studied in historical linguistics. Dialectology treats such topics as divergence of two local dialects from a common ancestor and synchronic variation. Dialectologists are ultimately concerned with grammatical features which correspond to regional areas. Thus they are usually dealing with populations living in their areas for generations without moving, but also with immigrant groups bringing their languages to new settlements. Phonology Phonology is a subfield of historical linguistics which studies the sound system of a specific language, or set of languages change over time. Whereas phonetics is about the physical production and perception of the sounds of speech, phonology describes the way sounds function within a given language or across languages. An important part of phonology is studying which sounds are distinctive units within a language. Aspirated while the same phoneme in spin is not. In some other languages, for example Thai and Quechua, this same difference of aspiration or non-aspiration does differentiate phonemes. In addition to the minimal meaningful sounds, the phonemes, phonology studies how sounds alternate, such as the P in English, and topics such as syllable structure, stress, accent, and intonation. The principles of phonological theory have also been applied to the analysis of sign languages even though the phonological units do not consist of sounds. The principles of phonological analysis can be applied independently of modality, because they are designed to serve as general analytical tools, not language-specific ones. Morphology Morphology, the study of the formal means of expression in a language, in the context of historical linguistics, how the formal means of expression change over time, for instance. Languages with complex inflectional systems tend to be subject to a simplification process. Is the field of linguistics that studies the internal structure of words as a formal means of expression. Words as units in the lexicon are the subject matter of lexicology. While words are generally accepted as being, with clitics, the smallest units of syntax, it is clear that in most, if not all, languages, words can be related to other words by rules. The rules understood by the speaker reflect specific patterns, or regularities, in the way words are formed from smaller units and how those smaller units interact in speech. In this way, morphology is the branch of linguistics that studies patterns of word formation within and across languages, and attempts to formulate rules that model the knowledge of the speakers of those languages, in the context of historical linguistics, how the means of expression change over time. See grammaticalization. Syntax Syntax is the study of the principles and rules for constructing sentences in natural languages. 
The term syntax is used to refer directly to the rules and principles that govern the sentence structure of any individual language, as in the syntax of modern Irish. Modern research in syntax attempts to describe languages in terms of such rules. Many professionals in this discipline attempt to find general rules that apply to all natural languages in the context of historical linguistics, how characteristics of sentence structure in related languages changed over time. See grammaticalization. Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL and uploaded this video for BS English students. Having more than 25 research papers, he also taught at many foreign universities. He was presently admitted to a postdoctoral study at a Canadian university. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use the QR code TO join our Facebook group at